is up and welcome back this is law of evolution and i just recently updated let me put it down a little bit i just recently updated to my obs 21.0.1 all right when i did that all of my audio from the ps4 going through the elgato completely disappeared I didn't do anything differently. I didn't unplug any cords. I didn't do anything tricky. I didn't spill uh, Hennessy on my keyboard. Nothing happened. I just simply updated OBS and I lost my audio. Okay. And so I just wanted to share with you guys what I did, what simple step I took in order to get my audio back because I was actually toiling around with this for a couple days unsuccessfully. And uh, I, I was looking at tutorials on YouTube. I was checking out a lot of different stuff. And, um, and nothing was working for me. Nothing was working for me. I was even listening to squeakers, okay, telling me how they fixed it back in 2016. That still didn't work, but I went through the torture, okay, and so I figure I'll just show you what I did. Really quick video. I'm not, this isn't even here for clickbait purposes or anything. I just want to show you really quick what I did, and then we can move on with our lives, okay? So, uh, really quick, all that I did. Um, after fumbling around for a good long while is I uh, went to my Elgato okay and I actually have to turn this back on so my game audio is going to come back on for a little bit but I went to the Elgato I clicked on my settings cog and as you can see my audio is coming through now right uh, but I clicked on the settings I went to properties and instead of going to configure video like a lot of people will tell you to do uh, what I did was I simply scrolled down a little bit and this buffering in under buffering I simply clicked it on enable this was on auto detect uh, which is actually okay that's what it was on before and I, I wasn't having any issues and so um, and as you, as you can see like when you hover over it it says when enabled it buffers video and audio data to ensure the smoothest and most accurate playback possible uh, but at the cost of increased latency so mm, you know auto detect it sets it to enable the device has in it sets it to enable if the device has delay and disable if it has no delay so I was running into a problem. All I did was simply click this drop down, take it from auto detect to enable. And as soon as I did it, boom, all of my audio came dropping back. So if you are, even if I help one person with this, I'm not trying to help the entire world, but even if I help one person with this, it fix their audio and they don't have to listen to squeakers in 2016, tell them how they did it. Then I win the internet for 2018. I win. So thank you guys for checking it out. Try it out. See if it works for you. If it doesn't, Cuss me out in the comments. If it does, show some love, drop a like, maybe sub, come on back, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and I will catch you guys on the next one.